Previously, we have introduced how to install the digital readout and the linear scale systems onto the mini machines. And in this video, we will show you how to install the digital readout system onto these lasers. In this video, we also have three parts. Now we move to the part one. First, we also need to get the travel size for this x-axis installation. First, we turn the carriage to one end and do the marks on the carriage and the cross knight and then turn the carriage to the other end and uh, then measure the distance between the two marks From the tape, we can see the X travel size is 160 mm. Considering we will leave the extra lens at the two ends of the linear scales, so we choose 220 mm travel lens for this scale. The next step is to install the pad, pad strips onto the carriage. First, we need to turn the carriage to the one end. Please pay attention during the pad strip installation. The top side of the pad strip should not exceed the carriage platform plane, and the bottom of the pad strip should not contact with the saddle. After installed well this pad strip, we also need to check the barrier of this pad strip. We use the die indicator and uh, make its prop contact with the surface of this pad strip, zero the value on the die indicator and uh, then turn the table to the other end and see the values change on the die indicator. As we can see, this barrier is so bad so we need to do the adjustment of the heat of this pad strip to do the calibration. Because we are confident of the table's plane so we Lift out this parallel check. After we calibrate the parallel of the pad strip, we have installed well the linear scales onto the pad strip. The next step is to install the red head part. We need to turn the table to the one end and uh, leave about 20 mm extra length. This extra length is from the end cap of the linear scale to the red head. Now we can fix the red head onto the machines. For the standard brackets we offered are may not suitable for all installation situations, so for this we have machined another bracket. Now fasten the screws. After we fix the wheels the uh, bracket we also need to do the calibration for the red head part. Please pay attention. The plane of this red head need to lower about one millimeter from the scale. Also, the distance between the red head with the scale should also keep around equal one millimeter from the left to the right, because this calibration and uh, only applies to DC ten F. The next step is to install the cover because we have prepared well the hole on the dust on the pad strip so what we need to do is just fasten the screw. After we finished the installation of X axis now we move to the part two for the installation on the Z axis. To get the travel length of Z axis we can use the same way as what we did on the Z axis. For this laser the travel size of Z axis is eight hundred millimeter to Leave the extra lens on the two ends on the of the linear scale. We choose the a nine hundred millimeter travel size scale. First, we need to turn the saddle to the most right to find the suitable position to install the scale. After we turn the saddle to the most right, because we need to connect the red head with the saddle, so we can 
find a suitable position to connect to the rated part. According to this position, we can to we can know where to place the scale. For the upside down direction, we will leave 100 mm from the top side of the bed to the position where we will drill, drill and tape. For the left, we can use the same way to find the position to drill the installation holes. After installed well the linear scales, we also need to check the parallel for this linear scale. Please always remember that the value changes on the die indicator should always keep within 100 micros. After we calibrate the parallel of the linear scale, now the next step is to install a rate height. First, we also need to turn the side to the most right. and uh, find a suitable position on the side door to collect the rate height by using the brackets. We also need to leave about uh, 20 mm extra length from the end cape of the linear scale to the rate height. After we fixed well the brackets, now we need to do the adjustment of the rate height. Please pay attention this part should have any contact with the uh, machines. Also, we need to do the adjustment of the gap between the rate height with the scale. The method to do this is to use the bracket as a reference. If the right red bracket can run smoothly, the gap will be very perfect. If not, we need to do the position of the scale. This adjust way only applies to our DC10 model. The next step will be install the cover. During this process, please avoid a there will be no contact for the cover with the top side of the scale. Now we move to the last part for the installation of the digital readout. First we install the end brackets of the onto the machines, then install the digital readout onto this bracket. Now we have installed well the whole digital readout and the linear scale systems now we need to check if it runs OK. Turn on the digital readout. And then turn the X axis. It's good. And also turn the Z axis. It runs also OK. Now we come to the end of this video. For different uh, machines it has different uh, installing methods please use uh, please according to the real situation to proceed in the installation this video is just for the reference